What's up guys and welcome to a new video. I'm here in Tumbleweed. I'm going to show you some Mexican outfits. The first one I start with is the one I'm wearing right now. It's the Zapata outfit. So for the people that don't know who Zapata, he was a Mexican revolutionary. He was really important for the Mexican history. I'm going to show you how to make the outfit right now, so let's go. So this is how the Zapata outfit looks like. Now I'm going to say which things you have to buy. So for the hats I used the bolero hat and then the black one. For the neck I used the red neckerchief. For the coats I used the new coat, the sported jacket and then the black one. For the vest I used the uh, Lancer vest and then the black one too. For the shirts I used the French dress shirt and then the white one with stripes. And for the pants I used the black bandito pants. And the shoes, the boots, I used the stovepipe square toe boots looks like this Zapata was really important for Mexico I really like this outfit I use it by the way and now I'm going to show you the next outfit What's the hold up? so Take this is the second out. outfit I'm going to show you it's the Mexican you gunslinger outfit I'm sorry for this guy he's fighting the cops all the time man but now I'm going to show you how to make this Mexican gunslinger outfit oh, you need something else? so for the hat I used the bolero hat again but now the yellow one or bass I don't know how to which color it is exactly for the bandanas I use this one, I really like this bandana, the patent bandana. Then like the red brownish one. For the coats I use the mica coat, I call it the mica coat, the martial coat and then the black one. I really like it. The vest I used is the traditional vest, then the brownish one sand color for the shirts I used the everyday shirt and then just the white one I think you have to look a bit dirty for this outfit that's the nice thing about it and for the pants I used the studded pants and then the blue one and for the boots I used the uh, one roper boots I really like it and also for the spurs I use this one the garden spurs and the brown one I really like this outfit I made it one of my saved outfits so you see me with this sometimes I think this is a good outfit now let's go to the next one my next outfit is the mariachi outfit I really like mariachi, I've seen them a lot in Mexico. Now I'm going to show you how to make it. You're becoming a familiar face. This is how it looks like the mariachi outfit. So for the hats I use the bolero hat again. Yeah. You need a Mexican outfit with the bolero hat by the way. And then the brownish one. Let's go. For the neckwear I used the neat string tie and then the red one. For the coats I used the porter jacket and the green one. I really like it though. For the no fest by the way, my bad. For the shirts I used the French dress shirt again and then the white one again. Like I used with the Zapata outfit. For the pants, I used the uh, Goncho pants and then the green one. I think this is the best pants though, that's why I made my mariachi green because it has this red in it. I really like that. And for the 
boots I used uh, stove pipe square toe boots again and then the black one so let's go to the next outfit now so it looks like by the way so this is my next outfit I call it the Desperado because it's a bit based on the outfit of uh, Antonio Banderas in the movie Desperados oh man I love that movie man so this is really easy to make so let's go oh you need something else I know I have the mustache and my hair is not that slick as that of uh, Antonio Banderas but ah, it's okay if you want the slick hair you know how to do it hair pomade long hair and stuff now no hat the coat you use is the black porter jacket uh, the shirt you use is the everyday shirt and then the white yeah, one it's a cheap outfit by the way it's not expensive to make for the pants I used the uh, concho pants and then the black one I think a black bandito pants will also work because uh, Antonio Banderas don't have like a mariachi pants but he just has this black mariachi pants with nothing on it but I like it more like this because I said it's based on it it's not exactly like it and I used the uh, black stove pipe square toe boots again it's a cool outfit though of course you can always put a hat on it or something but I like it like this so let's go to the last next out outfit this is the last outfit of today it's the Mexican winter outfit if you go up north so let's go I'm going to show you how to make it oh sorry guys I got killed but there's always something here in tumbleweed I took revenge by the way but yeah this is the winter outfit the Mexican winter outfit so for the hat I used the bolero hat again with the black one the bandana I used the patent bandana again and the red brownish one the coats oh this is my favorite coat though I wish I had a coat like this in real life the sheep's wool jacket it is and then the black one for the vest I used the uh, Rutledge vest vest the Rutledge vest and then this one the blackish one so I didn't know how to pronounce that <laughs> for the shirt I used the side collar shirt and then the green one gloves I used the uh, leather gloves and then the black one and for the pants I used the uh, black bandido pants it's this one and the boots I used the high top moccasins yeah, the high top moccasins and then the black one so this is the Mexican winter outfit you can use it in cold weather so you have to store one on your horse if you make this one for if you go up north I hope they will put ponchos and bandoliers in because I think you can make the best uh, Mexican outfit with ponchos and bandoliers but I will make a part 2 if that comes because I also want to make the Pancho B outfit I really like that guy I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I see you in the next one bye